हेलो एवरी वन इन दिस वीडियो वी आर कंटिन्यूइंग अवर सीरीज ऑन गायनिकोलॉजिकल ऑनकोलॉजी सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल कंपेरिंग द स्टेजिंग ऑफ द मेन थ्री सर मेन थ्री कैंसर्स वी विल डिस्कस सी ए सर्विक्स सी ए एंडोमेट्रियम एंड सी ए ओवरी द स्टेजिंग इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एज द मैनेजमेंट ऑफ द डिसीज विल बी डिपेंडेंट ऑन द स्टेज सो इन जनरल नियोप्लाजिया there is a staging system called tnm classification that is tnm t for tumor n for nodes and m for metastasis so in other neoplasias we use tnm classification but for the gynecological oncology there is a special system of staging that is called figo staging so we have a different figo staging of all this three tumor tnm classification is more of a descriptive purpose that means how much the size of tumor the lymph nodes are involved or the metastasis is there or not whether the figo staging is a having a prognostic value that means that if a figure staging is higher then the prognosis is going to be worse and dependent on them the management of the tumor will be decided so let's talk about figo so we are comparing here the three basic cancers ca endometrium ca cervix and ca ovary so the first stage of ca endometrium that means the cancer is confined to the uterus the first stage have two different sub stages that is 1a and 1b the 1a means less than 50% of myometrium is involved and 1b is more than 50% of myometrium is involved we are talking about ca endometrium so this was the first stage of endometrium carcinoma in the cervical carcinoma the same first stage have a very sub uh, stage some uh, many sub stage for example a stage 1 have two broad sub stage a and b in the a again two another sub stages are there 1a1 1a b 1a2 1a1 1a2 so 1a1 that means that the cervical invasion so sorry the cancer invasion in the cervix or in the mucosa as we see on the slide is less than 3 mm the stage 1a 2 means the invasion is more than 3 mm but less than 5 mm now comes to stage 1b so 1b 1 means the size of the tumor is less than 2 cm the 1b 2 means the size of the tumor will be more than 2 to 4 cm and stage 1b 3 is more than 4 cm so here what we are discussing here is a cervical carcinoma invasion invasion means how much the cancer has invaded into the cervical tissue we will be have a uh, later uh, very detailed staging when we discuss the ca cervix in particular but at present you need to remember this thing only that in the first stage of cervical cancer what we have is a 1a1 means less than 3 mm 1a2 means 3 to 5 mm 1b means there is a macroscopic tumor that we can see from our naked eye that 1b1 means less than 2 cm 1b2 means 2 to 4 cm and 1b3 means more than 4 cm so this is a microscopic this is a macroscopic at present you need to remember only this thing 
Now let's go to the ovarian carcinoma. In ovarian carcinoma, stage one means uh, the the cancer is confined to the ovary. One A means one ovary is involved. One B means both ovaries are involved. But when we talk about stage one A one and B. then the cancer is under capsule that means the cancer has not spread or there is no there is no proof of this cancer goes beyond the capsule now comes 1c 1c1 means surgical spill that means when we are doing a surgery of ovarian carcinoma the capsule is ruptured by the surgeon c2 means before surgery rupture that means the capsule has been ruptured before the surgery 1c3 means there is a malignant ascites again i am telling you we don't have a proof of this cancer has spread to other organs it's confined to ovary one c the c column here that suggests that that the capsule has been ruptured but again we don't have a proof of cancer ovary spread to other organs so the stage one in all these three things is is this like that the cancer is up to that organ only now comes the stage 2 in stage 2 what we know uh, the basic things are that the spread has been occurred from the very organ for example if there is a ca endometrium and there is a stage 2 stage 2 means ca endometrium has been spread to the cervix stage 2 in cervical carcinoma that means that the spread of the cancer has been beyond the uterus that means from the upper two third vagina or it may be a parametrial invasion what is parametrium this is the metrium metrium means uterus parametrium means the tissues along with the uterus so stage 2a means in cervical cancer stage 2a means the spread has happened up to upper two-third of the vagina which is in the close context of cervix stage 2b in cervical cancer means there is a parametrial invasion here okay if we go to ca ovary stage 2 means the tumor has spread the adjacent tissues just as same as previous two cancers in ca ovary the stage 2a means tumor spread to the uterus or fallopian tube if you see the ovary are in a in a, uh, in a uh, nearby to the uterus and fallopian tube Stage 2b means spread to other pelvic organs and pelvic nodes. That means the ovary is adjacent to various peritoneal structures and pelvic structures. It's actually a retroperitoneal tissue. So it, it spread to the pelvic organs or pelvic nodes, lymph nodes. But remember only up to pelvic lymph nodes not retroperitoneal lymph nodes so what i'm trying to make you understand here is when we discuss about stage 2 of figo in either in cervix or the endometrium or the ovary what we need to discuss in stage 2 is the spread of the tumor has been occurred beyond the organ involved for example for cervix the vagina is involved, 
the parametrium is involved for the ca endometrium the spread has happened to the cervix for ca ovary the spread has been occurred to fallopian tubes uterus and other pelvic structures now let's go with the stage 4 directly stage 4 means metastasis metastasis means <coughs> that there is a distant spread so the stage 4 is same to all the all the cancers all the three cancers that means the spread has happened to distance <coughs> now comes the stage 3 stage 3 is the in between stage that means the tumor spread has been occurred but not the distance one so it is a in between stage where the tumor will spread from nearby organ to distance organs and lymph nodes are also involved in stage 3 whenever you you are getting a question on which stage of the cancer it is if there is a discussion of lymph nodes there then you can safely go with the stage 3 for example in ca endometrium stage 3a means cirrhosa and adnexa involved so the ca endometrium has now been spread beyond the uterus beyond the cervix and up to cirrhosa and adnexa <coughs> Stage 3B in CA endometrium is vaginal or parametrium involvement. Stage 3 in CA endometrium is C1 mean pelvic node, pelvic lymph node involvement. Stage C2 means 3C2 means paraortic lymph node involvement. Again, there is a difference between pelvic lymph node and paraortic lymph node. Pelvic lymph node are the nearby or draining lymph nodes of the pelvic organs. But paraortic nodes or retroperitoneal nodes are the more distance in drainage than the pelvic node. So if paraortic lymph node is involved, that means that the cancer has spread beyond the pelvis. Stage 3 in cervical cancer is Stage 3A means lower one third vagina is involved. Stage 3B means extension to the pelvic wall. So this is the endomet, this is the uterus, these are the pelvic wall, this is the parametrium. So in stage 1 the cervical cancer confined to the cervix. Stage 2 it has involved to the parametrium but not reached to the pelvic wall and stage 3 that means they have reached to the pelvic wall <coughs> the stage 3 c means lymph node involvement stage 3 c means c1 means pelvic lymph node c2 means paraortic lymph node same as ca endometrium as you can see here stage 3 in ovary ovarian cancer is little bit different for example stage 3 a1 means positive retroperitoneal lymph node that means paraortic lymph node a2 means microscopic extra pelvic peritoneal involvement so what they want to try is stage 3 a2 means there is an involvement of extra pelvic peritoneum which is distance from the actually the ovary nearby ovary what is nearby pelvic peritoneum but now the stage 3 a2 means extra peritoneal involvement extra pelvic peritoneum is involved but again it is a microscopic involvement not macroscopic now stage 3b means less than 2 cm deposit now it becomes a macroscopic stage 3c means macroscopic deposit of more than 2 cm 
and again stage 4 means distant spread that is pelvic infusion sorry pleural infusion positive cytology and proof so <clears throat> what I want in this video from you I know it is confusing I know it is not uh, palatable in first view but what I am trying to make you is comparison of staging so that you have a larger idea how we deal with the FIGO staging we will also discuss this staging in detail when we talk about individual carcinoma right now i want you to understand the basic concept of figo staging so have you seen that that stage one of figo <coughs> is confined to that organ only for example endo for endometrium ca endometrium the organ becomes the uterus for ca cervix the organ becomes the cervix and uterus and for the ca ovary ovary is the organ so in stage one the st the cancer is only up to that particular organ Have you seen that there are various subdivision in stage 1? Why there are subdivision in stage 1? Because according to the severity and rate of invasion, the management is changes. For example, what is the best management for any cancer? Surgical removal is the best treatment for any gynecological carcinoma. Surgery. We want a surgical removal. But what happens is, once the distance spread is there, there is no benefit of doing this surgery. Then we will go for chemotherapy and radiotherapy. But as we want to know that how much the spread has been occurred, if the spread has been not too much, then we can safely go for surgery. Our goal is to identify whether the cancer has confined to some particular area or not. So we can do a surgery. <clears throat> Stage 1 of the cervix, we want to know the extent of the disease so that we can go safely for surgery. If you have seen that stage 2 of all these 3 cancers, the spread has been occurred to adjacent organs. That means if we are talking about endometrium, the very adjacent thing to endometrium is the cervix. For, cervic, for cervical cancer, the adjacent tissue becomes vagina and parametrium. And for ovary, the adjacent tissue becomes the uterus and fallopian tubes. If we have seen the stage 3, we have seen that there is a peritoneal involvement, lymph node involvement, which lymph node? Pelvic lymph node, retroperitoneal lymph node and pelvic wall involvement discussion in stage 3. Stage 4 is always distance metastasis. For cervix, even bladder and rectum involved, that also called as a distance metastasis. Now I want to know some precancerous states. What is a precancerous state or stage? A stage which is not a cancer, but it may be a physiological, but having higher chances to be converted into cancer. So the precancerous state is always dangerous. We have to act when we see this thing. Or we have to develop some screening test so that we can screen this precancerous state so that we can just remove that, uh, that stage to prevent the cancers. Now, if we see a CA endometrium, the precancerous test comes to the endometrial hyperplasia. For CA cervix, we go, go <coughs> we are getting the precancerous state of cervical intraepithelial neoplasia. And for the ovary, there is no actual that stage because ovary that's why and that's why when the CA ovary ha happens, whenever the CA ovary happens, then it is always in the advanced stage. Because it does not have a precancerous stage, and we even we cannot detect a precancerous stage in ovary. So this was the general idea about the staging of gynecological oncology. Thank you.